What's up guys, I'm Avionics, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing as I put out quite a bit of content throughout the month. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up your brand new next gen PS5 to live stream without the use of a computer and capture card. Just like the PS4, the PS5 has a built-in live stream broadcast feature that can easily broadcast your gameplay to streaming platforms. At the time of the PS5 launch, only Twitch and YouTube are available, but Sony may incorporate more platforms later as the PS4 can broadcast to more than just Twitch and YouTube. First, let's set up for Twitch. For YouTube, go ahead and fast forward to that section. So the first thing you're going to want to do, if you haven't already, is to create a Twitch account at twitch.tv. Once you've done that, you need to link your PlayStation account with your Twitch account. This can be done by either going into Settings, Users and Accounts, Link with other services, or by starting up a game that you want to stream, pressing the Create button and selecting the broadcast icon. If this is your first time doing this on the PS5, you will see that the Twitch icon says Not Linked. You can link it in one of two ways. Using your phone that is logged into your Twitch account, scan the QR code on the next screen. Or you can also visit twitch.tv backslash activate on any browser and verify you're already logged into your Twitch account on that browser. After that, enter the code displayed on your PS5 screen to confirm linking the account. You will then see a confirmation on your PS5 once the account has successfully been linked. If you need to switch Twitch accounts, go back into Settings, Users and Accounts, Link with other services, and choosing the Unlink option. Once that's all done, selecting the Broadcast button after pressing the Create button on the controller will now allow you to go live to include giving your session a title. Hitting the three dots will also let you change some other settings including enabling your PS5 HD camera, voice chat audio, chat display on the screen, and selecting the video quality. Minimum resolution is 1280 by 720 at 30 frames per second, and the maximum is 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second. To begin setting up with YouTube, you must first create an account at youtube.com. After that, link your YouTube account with your PlayStation account by going to Settings, Users and Accounts, link with other services, or by starting up the game you want to stream and pressing the create button on the controller and selecting the broadcast icon. If this is your first time doing this on the PS5, you will see that the YouTube icon says not linked. Linking the account will open up the PlayStation web browser and you'll need to log in using your email address that you signed up to YouTube with. The link between your PlayStation and YouTube accounts should now be complete. But if this is your first time linking a YouTube account, you may still need to verify your account by going to the YouTube website. This may require you to verify the account through your phone, either by voice or text message. Once your account is verified on that screen, it may still take up to 24 hours for YouTube to complete the account verification process, and you may not be able to live stream until then, even if it says verified. If you need to switch to streaming under a different YouTube account, go back into settings, Users and Accounts, Link with other services, and choosing the Unlink option. Once that's all done, selecting the Broadcast button after pressing the Create button on the controller will now allow you to go live to include giving your session a title, description, and some tags. Hitting the three dots button will also let you change some other settings including enabling your PS5 HD camera, voice chat audio, chat display on the screen, selecting the video quality, and the minimum resolution is 1280 by 720 at 30 frames per second, and the maximum is 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second. Note, third-party webcams do not work with the PS5. The only compatible webcams are the PS5 HD camera and the PlayStation camera that is available for the PS4. I hope this tutorial helped you to get your live streaming up and running. If so, I would love it if you guys hit that like button. Any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell to be notified of new content. See you guys next time.